After a short break, we are back in action. We are at Plymouth. After an international break, so is Gavin White. Well, Gavin, welcome back from international duty. Uh, how was it for you? Really good, really enjoyable camp. Um, obviously, we won one game and, and we could beat the other, but it's just gearing towards uh, the four games we have in June, and I think that, that trip really helped us. Yeah, and international football is a completely different experience to not regular league football, isn't it? And one that will benefit you all the time. Yeah, yeah, and as I say, I always love going there. I love, I love training with, with the players. Do you know who obviously some of them play in the Premier League and some of the mm -hmm. champions? It's just good to, to be around it. Um, but yeah, it's completely different than, than league football, but um, as I say, I love both. Yeah, and you got your goal against Luxembourg, didn't you? Um, I'm sure that's always a, a really proud moment. Yeah, it was, it was great. Um, we actually had um, a good load of fans who travelled over as well and I scored in the end that, that they were. And um, It's always special to, to even to get on for your company, but the score, um, it's a really special moment, yeah. I know you're back in, the snow is falling around us, isn't it? But preparations, you're straight back in, looking ahead to Saturday, it's as quickly as that, isn't it? Yeah, I just said to you, it was sunny two days ago and yeah. that's, it's mad. But yeah, preparations have, um, have begun and we're looking forward to a, t a tough game against Plymouth. Yeah, and for, for the lads who, who went on international duty, after a long run of games, that break for them has is, is probably become a really valuable time, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, they, I think they've had four or five days off. Um, it's well needed, you know, they've, they've worked hard all season, you know, fair play, that they've had that time off. But as I say, I haven't, but um, I'm just glad to be back here and um, hopefully we can we can do it to the end of the season. Yeah, and you've come back in this morning. It's a positive place to be, isn't it, this place at the moment? Yeah, yeah, the, the camaraderie and togetherness of this team is, is incredible. And that's um, sort of the reason why I, I, I came back here on them. Um, loved it here and it just shows again that what, what sort of a club we are, really. Yeah, looking ahead to Saturday, Plymouth are a side who um, tough opponents when we played them earlier in the season. Uh, I guess you're expecting it exactly the same this weekend. Yeah, it's going to be hard, but yeah, every game's tough. I think they. They were unbeaten uh, six, six in a row, I think they yeah. were unbeaten, and I think they could beat the, the last game, yeah. but um, listen, every game is as tough as the other, um, especially now at this part of the season. We'll, we'll take it as pinch of salt and we'll, uh, we'll work hard towards them. Yeah, firmly in the running now, isn't it, to, to the end of the season, every point matters, doesn't every it? Every point so matters, matters, yeah, 100%, and, but listen, obviously we, we'll, we'll try and get the three points as much as we can, but as I say, well, We'll, we'll do what we can. Before that quickly is a tough away trip to Morecambe and then home to Sunderland. It's again you're straight into another tough run, aren't you? Yeah, tough run as well. Morecambe away, it's, it's going to be tough. Um, no one's really talking about that. Obviously, Plymouth first and then Morecambe yeah. away. We're going to be travelling a little bit as well. And we need to get the recovery in, but as I say, we'll, we'll be ready. Fingers crossed, a couple of positive results on the way sets you up for a very big game against Sunderland at home following Saturday. Yeah, definitely and. But that's too far away, I think, that what we're thinking about. Um, you know, Plymouth's, Plymouth's going to be so tough and Morgan as well. And, um, you know, after them, we'll, also, we'll look towards Sunday.
If I could have found more Tylers or Goodrums, I would have done a name game, but instead we settled for a little chat about Tyler Goodrum's new deal at Oxford United. As you just said, the last time we spoke, you said, I just want to play games. Yeah. So you've achieved that this year, haven't you? Yeah, no, I think I worked out the other day that, like I said to you when I was coming up, I played about 40 games this year. Um, and obviously, a little twinge in the hamstring now, but apart from that, it's been really positive. Um, and how did you feel when uh, you got the news of another year? Yeah, no, I was uh, I was buzzing. Um, I'm at, like I think I was with Dan and Chris in the uh, in his office, and then when he said it, I was like, quite relieved and stuff. Um, obviously, seeing all the other boys, obviously, in a negative day was also a positive for me. Um, so no, I was buzzing about it. Uh, I, I, we should have rehearsed this. It's horrible. They become slightly yeah. my friends. They're properly your friends, yeah. and to see people not getting their chance. It's hard for you, isn't it? Yeah, it's tough. I mean, I did it last year when like my age group didn't get their um, offers and stuff. Um, but like, I know, especially this group of boys, as well as the last, they 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 work hard. They keep their heads down, and they'll they'll be fine. Yeah, I say that to them. <laughs> they'll, I've, I've, they'll be fine. I've literally just said it to two of them as, as we were walking in and yeah. stuff. Um, what happened, how, how many games you got left? Uh, if if your hamstring holds up, if so. Seven. About eight, yeah, seven or eight, yeah. I think. Um, but I think I'm out for another two weeks, so I think I'll be back for the last four or five. Okay. Fingers crossed. That's if everything goes to plan. Uh, and then, what happens? Come back pre-season. I've I've already got. Pre I've, I've we said now I'm starting my pre-season now, um, and I'm just gonna do everything I can to come back in the best shape possible, and then um, obviously just do what I can to impress and just go from there. I hope it comes across on the camera, your enthusiasm, your love for the game, that's never going to diminish, no. is it? That, that's, no. You just want to be a footballer. No, it stays. <laughs> Ever since I was a little boy, I always, always remember kicking a ball out in the park or wherever, like, it's always been football. And I think I was saying to someone the other day, like, since I've been able to walk, it's been football. Um, so, yeah. So that's Tyler Goodrum, who's got the second year as a professional footballer. Uh, you can see from the camera, everybody likes Tyler. He's a really, really good footballer. It's fairly brutal, isn't it, being an apprentice? And for some of them, it's you know they're not going to get that opportunity. It's horrible, isn't it? Well, it is, yeah. And when you think about it, the vast majority of apprentices, apprentices don't make it. So it's only the, the lucky few, like Tyler, uh, James Golding, who do make it to the, being a professional. Yeah, we'll get Eddie Breary on to, uh, to, uh, to the next one as well, because he's uh, going to get his chance to do it. Um, I'd love the opportunity though, I really would. Yeah. Um, Stop looking at my <laughs> head. I can't shave my head because we haven't had a game. Therefore, I'm looking a bit like Uncle Albert. Bloody hippie. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> you're going <laughs> proud. Um, insults thrown. Yeah. Uh, let's go on to previewing. It is okay. a preview show. Yes. Uh, Plymouth Argyle. We've um, we've not been there for a full house, should we say? But every time we go there, the atmosphere is quite amazing. Yeah, always always good crowd. I mean, it's a very intimidating away game. Um, we always take a decent following, considering it's three and a half hours away. It's not bad. But yeah, um, uh, as we do this, there are about a hundred tickets left. Something like that. by the time I've edited it, probably sold out. But at the moment, there are some tickets uh, left available. Go on, you tell them and about Morecambe. Yeah, well. Um, Obviously, uh, Morgan game, as well as the Plymouth game, has now been made all ticket for reasons um, unbeknownst to us. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, so you, you can't get a ticket on the day either at Plymouth or at Morgan. So make sure that you get in advance. Don't just turn, try and turn up on the day because they won't let you in. Yeah, it's a big week, isn't it? With yeah. Plymouth, Morgan, and then Sunderland on the Saturday. These three games, do they define our season, Mr. Historian? No, um, I don't think so. Uh, I think our season is defined throughout its length, obviously. but. Uh, I think you know they are big games. At the end of them, um, even if we come away disappointed with some of the results, I don't think it's season over yet. There's still plenty to go play for. Uh, a lot of the teams at the top are playing each other, so mm -hmm. all, they're all going to drop points. So you know it's uh, it's. Uh, it's a good opportunity for us if we can get maximum points, then uh, I think we'd be right. I, I, I was looking at the league table. I'd much rather be in this situation than where Wimbledon, Fleetwood, Morecambe are, looking at the relegation, looking at the... Or even yeah. where Scunthorpe are at the bottom of the league too. I'd yes. much rather be where we are now, wouldn't you? Oh, suit yourself. Yeah. Um, the last thing, Martin's on here for the magazine. Uh, we've been working quite hard this week, even though there's been no game. It's been good, no game, to get the magazine done quite. Go on, when's it coming out? Uh, we're looking at releasing it for sale um, for the MK Dons game, which is just after Easter. 
Uh, we've been, like Chris says, working very hard on it. There's a fantastic interview with Carl Roberts and the manager, worth buying just for that alone. If you ever think that me and Carl sit here for quite some time doing interviews and stuff, you want to see the one we did for the magazine. We're in, a, in here about 40 minutes talking yeah. about uh, what he found at Oxford United and uh, the situation now. Um, it was great. I learned a lot. Yeah, but I learned a lot. Well, we had a blazing row in the middle of it. We didn't, we didn't, we didn't get the Well, you'll see that in the magazine, but uh, it's all, all in uh, good fun. So the magazine will be out around yeah. there Easter time. Um, if we're going to go to Plymouth and get your tickets today, if you're seeing this one, I follow Friday, if you're seeing it on YouTube, do not travel without a ticket, all right? Oh, and it's their military day as well. Oh, yeah. um, we always, you, you will see us getting stuck in the car park. Um, if you're going to Plymouth, Get there early. Mm. There's, it, it's a big ground. There is quite a lot of car parking, but there's going to be a sellout in the home end as well. Make sure you're early. Wave at us to go around around the car park trying to find a space. We'll see you there. Bye.